Okay, so I'll pretend I'm Julia Childs here. Yes, I did. <laughs> here we take the chicken. <laughs> so here is a chicken breast. And there's a lot of different things that you can use for this. Um, I'll use a chicken breast. You can use liver. You can use beef heart. And um, with all those things, you're just going to put them in a pot with boiling water, some garlic salt, and cook that till it's done. And I like big pieces, big whole pieces. You don't want to use um, like little tiny, stir -fry. you know, yeah, stir fry pieces like that because you're going to cut it in the biggest slices possible. Um, so when you pull it out of your pocket, they're like, oh, it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> so we'll take our chicken breast and we will place that in the boiling pot here. Good, didn't burn myself. See if I can do this without. Mm, not too bad. <laughs> Be free, fly. <laughs> and when it's cooking, um, usually I'll get some some salt going in there, some garlic salt. Um, so after your chicken's done, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your oven and you're gonna go to bake and you're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Make sure there's no small children or animals in there before you get started. Hansel and Gretel, yeah, we got rid of them already. It's also a good idea to make sure that when you're cooking the bait that the dog is in the same room so they can smell this because, you know, basically what you're doing is you're, you're cooking your food and they're going to eat a little bit of that and then it's just going to drive them absolutely nuts because that's what they want. They always want what we have. So make sure they're, they're in the same room in the kitchen. I know that's usually a bad thing, but that's what I want my show dogs to do. Okay, so our chicken has been cooking for about um, 30 minutes. If, uh, if you're cooking, cooking chicken for you to eat, you might want to do 20 minutes or bring it to a bowl, boil, and then um, after it gets done boiling, you can turn it off and then let the chicken cook in there. But we're going to go ahead and take this out after 30 minutes here. Turn this off. And I'm going to take the chicken and we're going to place it on a paper towel. Let some of that moisture come off of it. And bring that right over here. Let that cool down a little bit. Then after it cools down, we'll cut it up and I'll show you the next step. All right, cut. Okay, so once you've got your chicken breast up here and then you got some of the moisture out of it there, then you're going to go ahead and grab yourself a good knife. And we want to make pieces as large as possible. So find a, a way where we can do like some fillets. And I'm going to cut this, find us a sharp knife. Okay, so I want to make the largest pieces possible. So I'll cut down through that. And the same thing with your beef heart or your liver. You want the biggest chunks you can find. Probably somewhere around a half an inch thick, three eighths, somewhere around in there. Then you're gonna take some paper towels. And you're gonna stick them on this cookie sheet here. And then lay your pieces of chicken on here. And again, this could be liver, this could be beef heart, chicken, or you can make a combination of everything there. Once you've got your chicken on the paper towel, then you'll take your garlic salt. Do both sides. Now we had our oven preheated to 350 degrees. So now we'll take this over to where the oven is. And the oven is going to get turned off now. So it's set at 350 degrees. The elements are not heating anymore because we've just turned this off. We'll open our oven up. We'll stick this inside. And then when that cools down, it'll be at the perfect 
moisture content and dried out just enough and then we'll get ready to uh, vacuum seal that. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pull this out of here. That should be a little drier now. And then we're gonna bring it over here where we're going to vacuum seal, seal and label. Vacuum seal, okay, whatever that word is. All right, so now you've taken a little bit of the moisture out. Test it to make sure it's fine, which that works. And then we're gonna get this vacuum sealer. All kinds of little vacuum sealers. This one is pretty cool. But you say these bags are a little harder to find. Mm -hmm. Beef heart's really, really good for this because it's less expensive. And um, you usually have to go to a butcher shop or go to your store and have them order it for you. Alright, so now you can take this, put it in your freezer, mark the date on here, and you've got bait for the ring. I would do the exact same thing for uh, beef heart, for liver. Wonderful. Uh, you're all set now. And then you get the maids to come in and clean the mess. Yeah. <laughs>